Hello everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew Trail of the Twister. I'm recording this on a very rainy day which feels appropriate. <laughs> but I believe we have to go fix Scott's phone now. Also I know where the camera is now, I'll check it in a minute. Oh yeah, we get to snoop around in his stuff. Ooh. Looks like I need a key. Okay, we will be on the lookout for a key then. Where is his phone? I would think it would be at his desk, but apparently not. Oh, it's right here. It's on fire. Uh, we should put that out, huh, Nancy? Oh, it's out. Come on, Debbie. Let's get going. On my way. Well, I'm glad it went out on its own. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, I see. Okay. It's one of these puzzles. I'm guessing I don't... Hmm, how's this gonna work, actually? Can I go down here? I can, okay. Well, I think I've already messed up. Um... No, actually, I think I can- I think I can salvage it. Right? That should do it. Yay. There, all fixed. I have no clue what that actually did outside of the context of the puzzle, but I'm satisfied. What's that sound? So the guy, it's his first time out seeing a system, at least I As long as you're making sure that everything looks right, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, I know what I'm doing here. That's Scott. This headset must have some kind of wireless connection to his cell phone. Wonder who he's talking to. So it's a Bluetooth. Congratulations! Any chance you can keep your act together so that the rest of the world doesn't also know what you're up to? No one suspects a thing, Brooke. Oh. Brooke? That's the name of the leader of that rival chase team. Let's try to keep it that way. You worry about keeping up your part of the deal. I've got everything and everyone under control out here. Alright, so he's got some sort of deal going on with the rival team. Does not look good for you here, Scott. Did that. That's done. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Okay, we still need to look around for clues, and we need to investigate the video camera. Let's go ahead and do that, since I know where it is now. It's on the table. Thank you for telling me. I appreciate that. Look at that. But Knocked I that fixed it. Flat. I hope it was as abandoned as it looked. It's roping out. Did he not take the lens cap off? That would be kind of funny. Did that. Okay, I guess we just snoop for clues then. Which is what we do best, right Nancy? Let's go investigate Debbie's junk. Oh, we can't? Okay. We're too polite for that. Let's go check Frosty's stuff, I suppose. Since he's been acting rather suspicious. Oh, we can't. Nancy, you respect other people's privacy way too much for a detective. So 
so we have to check all of Scott's stuff. But we need a key. Where do we find a key? Where would he keep a key? Do we have a key? Oh, we have this. Oh, that is the key! Ooh, papers. Okay. It's a paper to Scott from somebody, the Dean of Atmospheric Sciences. Let's see. He will not be awarded tenure or promoted to rank a full professor this year. His application did not meet the standards. Serious concerns were raised about your publication records in regards to quality, frequency, and practical applications. Interesting. He has to wait until next year to reapply. Alright then. Where did we find this key, by the way? Was that in the drop box at the, uh, the antennas? Because that'd be a- that's a weird place to put it. Can we take that back? No, we're just- oh no, we did take it. Good. Good, Nancy. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Okay, there's something else in here then. What are we looking for, Nancy? Can you give me a bigger clue than that? Is there anything hidden on this wall? Oh! Ah, uh, this is a code for something, isn't it? Of course it is. Well, I can't even begin to guess what this is. I'm sure it's going to be something like skip every third character or something like that. But I, I do not see a message at the moment. Still have to do that. Hmm. Is there anything else in here I can look at? Okay, I think I might need to ask my psychic friends for some assistance. Hey, I heard you guys got pounded by a major storm system a little while back. You get anywhere near the storm? Yeah, a little too close if you ask me. Awesome! Did you see any cows getting sucked up into the funnel or anything cool like that? What do you mean by too close? Frosty and I were driving to the staging area, and the funnel formed almost directly on top of us. Score! Whoever this Scott Joker is, he should know better than to put his crew in harm's way. You know, you should let me talk to him. Don't worry about it. It's under control. Sorta. Well, nearly. Aw, oh, Frank is protective. That's cute. I think we got all the cloud pictures we need, Nancy. I'd better get to the case. Call me as soon as you learn anything new. Nancy, good to hear from you. I've been watching the weather. Things look like they've been pretty rough out there. Glad to hear you made it through okay. It was pretty intense. We would have gotten some great data, but... Uh, you still got a saboteur on the loose. Well, what else is new? I was wondering, why are you so concerned about tornadoes? You must have a lot of other things to worry about. <laughs> Truth is, I never have been one to worry, but... Darned if these storms don't have my socks twisted in a bunch, something serious. See, Andy, most things in the world can be tamed, or at least tricked into behaving the way you want. <laughs> Not weather. Ever since a tornado tore through my home, I've been obsessed with figuring out what makes those twisters tick. Pretty sure I built the machinery to do the job. That's why I need you to make sure nothing too funny is going on. Once I know I've made sure that no one else is ever caught off guard by a storm again, then I can move on to the next project. Until then, I just can't. Well, that's an admirable goal. I didn't know you got hit by a twister. Was everyone okay? Prudence Rutherford, oh. uh, she's the one who recommended I hire you, by the way, was over, and I'm afraid she took a pretty hard knock to the head when the storm came through so suddenly. Oh no, was she all right? Well, ever since the blow to the head, she seems to really enjoy reality TV. 
But aside from that, she's still the same old prudence. <laughs> if for better or for worse. That that's fun. I'm pretty sure he makes every product. Just out of curiosity, how many products do you make? Oh, mm hmm. Let me see now. Uh, uh, Krollmeister particle accelerator, uh, Krollmeister salad cannon, uh, uh, Krollmeister, well, the whole line of salad dressings, of course, and then there's, uh, uh, not a clue, a lot. Never took the time to count. Do you have a favorite invention? Oh, well, now that you mention it, no, not really. All the really good ones got done before I came on the scene. Would have liked to come up with something big, like uh, the clock, or the, or the car, or the zipper. But that's the drawback of being a modern-day inventor. I'll be honest, most of the inventing I do is just gluing one thing onto another, like the phone radio or the thermometer pen. It's not exciting, but it's what the public seems to want. <laughs> Why are you so concerned about these machines? Now, there's no such thing as something that is just a machine. Every Krollmeister product is a work of art. Let's just flatter him. Tell me about it. I couldn't agree more. You're not a yes man, are you, Andy? <laughs> yes men are dangerous. They get you thinking you're the greatest thing on earth, and the next thing you know, you're making the dumbest decisions that ever could be made. I'm not. I was being honest. All right, then. What did you think of the Krollmeister salad cannon? It was a little too... powerful for the job. <laughs> well, shoot. Add diplomacy to your list of skills, ND. And what else can I do for you? I, I enjoyed that interaction. Do you know why someone would want to lure mice into their house? Is this one of those sound of one tree clapping in the woods questions? Never was much good at those. No, someone actually seems to be luring mice into the house. Hmm. Sounds like you've got a reverse Pied Piper situation. What's that? Who knows? Just made it up. I'd keep an eye out for something like that, though. And get a cat. Get a cat is pretty much always good advice, unless you're talking to somebody who's allergic. Would it be possible for someone to sabotage a GPS device? Of course it would! It takes a top-notch mind to put together something as complicated as a GPS device, uh, but I don't need to tell you that. It's always easier to destroy something than it is to make it work well. Why do you ask? My GPS went a little wonky and sent me right into a storm, and I don't think it was an accident. I don't like the sound of that one bit, Dandy. From now on, I want you reading maps, too. Like the old saying goes, trust but verify. I'm going to do some snooping on my end to see what kind of people you're dealing with out there. They might be worse than I suspected. Thanks. Oh, he sounds like a nice guy. Okay, I have to say, so far, I really like PG Krollmeister. I hope he's a recurring character. Can you tell me anything about Brooke Tavanaugh? Mmm, now that's some good detective work. You want to make sure that we're not overlooking what's going on with the other team, am I right? That's right. Now, I don't know much about Brooke, except that she's pushing hard for that number one spot. Very ambitious and very smart. A woman with that kind of talent doesn't need to sabotage her competitors, but that doesn't mean that she wouldn't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. I understand as well. Were you able to find anything out in your research on the team? Aside from Frosty's impressive collection of unpaid parking tickets, nothing yet. If you ask me, there's something suspicious about every last member of the team. I understand that feeling, ND. Sometimes, when I'm working on a new product, the solution seems to be nowhere in sight. But if you keep marching forward, you'll come face to face with that solution before you know it. Just the way it works. Any idea why Debbie would be turning down better jobs to stay at Canute? Andy, much as I love to help you with every small detail of your- Oh, come on, people! That's not even ours! Uh, now, uh, what was I saying? Was I lecturing you, or were we talking? Um, talking. Technically. Really? Let me go to the old playback. Hmm, can't expect me. Minus scrape, big crash, nope. Afraid that's not how I remember it. All right, then, let me continue. Uh, never mind. I can't even work up a good lecture these days with this crew. What can I do for you, ND? Good talking to you again. Anything you need, just give me a call. 
He kind of reminds me of Cave Johnson from Portal, except, you know, he's less crazy. But he has the same sort of, like, businessman with crazy ideas vibe going. Ah, can we snoop in here? Yes, we can. This is what I was missing. These are the uh, the boots he was trying to clean Looks off. Like Chase stepped in that oil puddle I saw by the sprinklers. Or are there other puddles of oil around here? Maybe. Ooh, what is? What did we just pick up? Oh, that was just paw pennies. You know, can we just steal from the jar when he's not here? Like, who's going to stop us? Nancy's conscience. Neither a lender nor borrower be. Darn it, Nancy, you and your conscience. Stop being a nice person. Become a thief. You would make an, an, an excellent criminal, Nancy. Okay, what about... This has been bothering me the whole time. What is this? Why am I allowed to do this? Why can I open the door partially, but not all the way? And why does Nancy say nothing about it? Yeah, if that doesn't get addressed, it's going to bother me so much. I'm sure there's a reason. Why would they put that in there if there's nothing I can do with it? The same with the tire swing. Because somebody took the time to make that a thing you can do, and somebody paid them to do that. Oh, the TV's out. Can't check that off yet. Okay, the checklist says there's still something in his office. So I guess I'm just going to go over this place with a fine tooth comb. Oh! Well, that was fast. There's some kind of residue on the blade. Hmm, smells like coolant. Okay. Oh, he cut the, uh, the hose. Well, somebody cut the hose and left the knife here. Interesting. Was that what we needed? Still have to do that. Okay, that was everything in the office. So should we go back to the barn and check the hose again? Oh, phone call. Hello? Nancy! Good. Glad I got you. You all right now? Everybody get through that storm? Yeah, we're all fine. Great. I was hoping so, but after something that big, thought I'd better check. Well, I got you on the phone. Something's come up, and I can really use you down at the store. Please, hurry. Okay, I'll be right there. All right, let's go see how Pa's doing.
Oh, I was hoping it would be raining on the map, map too, but it's not. Disappointing. But it is raining at the store still. Neato. You're here! And you brought the mousetrap! Good! Because I haven't seen a lot of mice lately, especially by that homesteader display in the museum. Must have a nest right beside it. I want you to catch them for me and get them out of here before the health department hears about it. They give me a hard enough time already for selling all them Coco Kringle products. Can I actually just refuse? But I'm, I'll do it anyway. I can do that for you, sure. That's a spit here. Here's one of them moon chunks to use as bait. Oh, thanks. Ooh, I'll need that. Thanks. Saved me at like 90 something cents. So you just go on over there and have at it. Where is it? You said over by the homesteader display? Or something? Where is that? Is it on the other side? I'm sorry, I don't have your place memorized. It was here, right? Did that. Check. Is it even in the museum? I don't know. You gotta catch them mice, Nancy. Now get them back over there and hop to it. Could you could you show me where? I'm sorry, but I am not good at finding things, apparently. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Right? Yeah, homesteaders. Is it down here? Do I just, uh, drop the mousetrap on the floor? No, we still have the key to that desk. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and put the cheese in. In time for another mouse catching puzzle. Level four? Oh, I didn't mean to turn that yet. Whoops. Okay, mices, let's go. Thanks for catching that mice, Nancy. You're welcome. What's my reward? What's going on there, Nancy? Have Scott and his team always been so accident prone? I'd say they've always been reality prone. If you're the type to chase down tornadoes, the reality of the situation is that you're pretty much giving trouble your home address. But from what I've been hearing, this year has been especially bad. Good seeing you again. Y'all hurry back. Excuse you. Okay, now. Spring home is this way? Yes. Oh, it's not raining here, but there are very dark clouds. That wasn't there before. That's the divining rod that's oh. missing from the museum. I wonder if someone was oh. trying to find it. And stepped in that pool of oil over there in the process. Okay, Chase, what are you doing? Oh, a couple of these mice just ran straight through the oil. They're gonna they're gonna die of poisoning. Poor guys. Let's go get all over their paws and they're gonna lick it. 
So I guess we should take this back to the shop. Oh, I took a wrong turn somewhere. But I, I think I have an okay idea of where I am. Oh, that's where I need to go. What's going on there, Nancy? You'll be happy to know I found your missing divining rod. Well, put the cat out of the rain. Where was it? Out in the spring house. If you can put it back in the display, I'd be truly grateful. Good seeing you again. See you soon. Uh, over here. Yes. Cool. So, uh, is, is that it? Check. Check, check. Cool, I guess we just go back home then. Something else I can do you for? I returned the rod to the display for you. Oh, a single penny. Actually, you deserve more than that. Oh, you gave me an extra 50. Well, 50 total. Thank you. Have a good day. Y'all hurry back. If he seriously gave me a single penny, my opinion of him would be greatly lowered. So what should we do, Nancy? Oh, hey, you're back. Hey there. How was the chase that I missed? Oh, it went pretty good. Didn't see any funnel clouds, but I managed to plant a sensor right in the path of a major downdraft, if you can believe that. Congratulations. I take it that was a big deal? Oh, you bet. Been trying at that all season with no luck. Was Scott there to see it? He went in the base vehicle by himself, but he was real happy when he heard about that sensor. Yes, ma'am. Well, congratulations. You've been spending all your spare time around here trying to find oil, haven't you? What? Oil? Well, I've been doing no such thing. Where'd you get an idea like that? I found the divining rod you took from Pa's museum. The one you left by the old spring house. I should have known I wouldn't get away with it. Lying and conniving and sneaking around, they just don't come natural to me. My mama raised me just too right. See, I heard rumors there was an oil deposit somewhere underneath this here farm. I also heard the college was getting ready to dump the place, so I signed up with Scott, figuring I could look for oil, and if I found some, try to get my daddy to invest in a little real estate. Mm, I don't know if he's actually been sabotaging them, so let's go with this. Did you really think you could find oil using an oversized stick? Think you it ain't no stick. It's a divining rod. And the one I took from Paul's isn't just any divining rod, neither. Used to belong to Charles Hamilton. It's that stick that made him the richest man in the state. My great-granddaddy saw it in action once. Saw it practically fly out of the man's hand and stick straight into the ground like it was being held there by some kind of magnet. The men started digging, and sure enough, they hit oil. And I found oil around here, too, a couple of times. Of course, when I started digging, all I ended up with were puddles. But that's because of Scott. He's the one messing stuff up around here. He's a jinx, and that's the truth. Listen, I'm truly ashamed of my behavior, Nancy. I will apologize to Pa for taking that divine rod first chance I get. And I know it's highly unlikely, but should you and my mama ever cross paths... I'll keep this to myself, but you've got to keep being honest with me. You got a deal. You know, come to think of it, I guess I can't rightly say all the bad stuff that's been going on is just bad luck. Like when I checked out the lightning rod on the farmhouse to see why Scott's phone blew up like that. I discovered something kind of strange. Instead of being wired so any lightning that struck the house would be directed to the ground, this here lightning rod connected to the wire inside the house. Someone wanted that phone jack to explode? Or the TV, or the fridge. Someone just wanted to do some damage. But you're sure it was wired that way on purpose? Either that, or this thing was put up by the world's dumbest electrician. Okay, two things. First of all, I really like the detail of Scott's hands being covered in, like, grease and motor oil and stuff like that. And two, I think I trust Chase. Like, he admitted to his wrongdoing when we 
um, brought it up to him, and he also just gave us some very valuable evidence, so... Unless he's playing the long game here, I think he's probably safe. I'll check back with you later. I'll write it in. So that narrows it down to Scott, Debbie, Frosty, and Paw. Though if it is Chase, I'll be very disappointed in myself. Let's see what everyone else has to say. Hey, thanks for fixing the phone. You didn't miss much on the chase. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get good weather. Well, that's the brakes. Hey, you know, since you're so good at fixing things, why don't you fix the TV? I think we've abused it enough. It's not getting any picture. I better get to work. Have fun. Add electrician to Nancy's resume. Hello, Nancy. I heard someone talking about some Brooke person. Who is she again? Brooke Tavanaugh. She heads the chase team that in all likelihood is going to whoop our collective fanny in the competition. What's she like? I, I don't know. Look, if it's all the same to you, I'd just as soon talk about something else, okay? I'll quit bugging you now. Don't hurry back. Okay, let's go check on Frosty. What's up? Everything go okay on that chase I had to miss? Yep, the sky was incredible. Saw a couple of promising wall clouds, but nothing ever dropped. Feel free to take a look at the pictures I just downloaded. They are awesome! Why do I get the feeling there's a clue in one of those pictures? I need to get going. Bye now. Nancy, did you write a note about it? You did not, so it's probably not important, but I'm gonna look at them anyway. Are these the ones you just took, or are these the ones that I took? These are the stock images. I need to connect my phone first. Alright, well we need to fix the TV, so let's go ahead and do that. Or at least attempt to do that, I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, that's a, that's a color test screen. Okay. I think I see what I'm doing here. Oh. This is the this is the footage. Aaron Aldredge, huh? That's the footage from Frosty's camera. I'm sure of it. It did record after all. I knew it. Granted that wasn't a very hidden mystery. I think it's a lost cause, Nancy. It's permanently broke. Bummer. I don't know about that. That's I be done. I believe we should go talk to Frosty. But we'll be doing that later, because I'm recording this at night and I'd like to go to sleep soon. <laughs> so, we've uncovered a couple suspicious things. Scott appears to be cooperating with Brooke on something. Chase was searching for oil, but he did admit to that, and I, I don't think he's actually sabotaging the equipment. There was a bit of suspicion regarding him and the GPS, but that might be a coincidence. And he did show us that weird lightning rod. So I think, I think I'm going to take the risk of trusting him. But Frosty, yeah, we, we just pretty much caught you red-handed, dude. 
You're, you're selling the footage... I don't know if it's your real name or a pseudonym, but you're, you sold the footage to someone else. And you're pretending like you didn't get it. Yeah. That, that's pretty obvious. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to confront him about that. But anyway, thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!